Fortnite has had an incredible year this year, and you were a critical part of that. This time last year, we launched Unreal Editor for Fortnite and the new creator economy to fuel investment and development in the Fortnite ecosystem. And today, we have lots more to share about what's next. Since we launched the UAFN beta, we've released countless features, and you have built and published more than 80,000 incredible experiences that have been played by more than 130 million players. Let's take a look at some highlights from the islands published with UAFN. The breadth and depth what you've been able to make in UAFN continues to amaze us. Like every day feels like Christmas, like when we go in and see what people are publishing. And your amazing work has already resulted in more than $320 million paid out since we launched UAFN and Creator Economy 2.0. There's no secret path to success when you publish a game in Fortnite. You make a game, players play it, and you get paid. But we're not here to talk about what's already happened. Instead, let's take a look at some of the highlights of what's new in UEFN for 2024. So with recently released features, you can now design top-down gameplay, side-scrollers, and more. Try out the fixed-point camera, fixed-angle camera, and third-person camera devices all for yourself. And later this year, we're happy to finally announce that we're going to release the highly requested first-person camera. <laughs> it took a while. We know. And we're making more IP from Epic's portfolio widely available for use in creator-made experiences. I'm here to share that we'll be adding Fall Guys assets, animations, and of course, lovely Fall Guys beans to UEFN in May, so you can build your own frantic obstacle courses right inside Fortnite. And also starting today, we're releasing rocket racing templates and devices for you to build your own race tracks using the same track designs we use to build rocket racing. So for the next stage of Fortnite, and ultimately the open metaverse that Epic is building towards, we need tools to solve for interoperability, scalability, and resilience. And that is what led us to develop Verse, a powerful programming language that we released last year. And since we introduced Verse, we've added loads of new features, persistence, runtime error telemetry, incremental garbage collection, and we're continuing to move as fast as we can. And on top of that, this year we're introducing that we are building a scene graph system built right on top of the Verse language. It's an entity and component framework that enables you to dynamically manipulate objects in your game. The system is designed to be simple, easy to learn, and eventually powerful enough to build AAA game content. And an important point about the scene graph is that while it's coming first to UEFN, it will eventually become the foundation for all content built in the Unreal Engine. We're starting with an experimental version launching in the next couple of months with the goal of scene graph being available to all creators in UEFN by the end of the summer. If you want to learn more, we have a scene graph talk tomorrow at 4 p.m. over at the Moscone. So next, and this year we're also going to be enabling physically simulated characters in UEFN and creative, and the ability to dynamically simulate any static mesh. So this is basically the LEGO Fortnite physics and destruction system that we worked really hard on that now are being released broadly for all creators. We're super excited about the potential of true networked physics sandbox gameplay to enable creators to make interactive and emerging games that were previously not possible in Fortnite. So beyond the, technic the technical capabilities of the tools, just as important as making your game is finding your game. We saw new islands published in Fortnite go from 50 islands a day to well over 500 brand new experiences published every single day in Fortnite. So in, in discoverability is a key focus of ours. The goal is to give every island a chance to find an audience. We've already done a lot over the last year to improve Discover, and now we're going to be adding features and functionality specifically to the creator pages, including ability to follow creators, link out to social media platforms, and make it much, much easier for you to build your own distinct creator community. So we've talked a lot about what's coming to UEM in 2024. There's a much deeper roadmap talk tomorrow that I encourage you to go and see in Moscone. But let's talk a bit about like, what are we doing next for our first-party development here at Epic? 
So we've always used our own games to push the engine forward, make sure it's battle-tested for creators. And it's time for Fortnite development to move over to UEFN and Verse. By the end of 2025, we are going to ship our first season of Fortnite Battle Royale developed in UEFN. So by moving our primary development to UEFN and Verse, our aim is to accelerate feature development and ultimately result in a much more robust toolset for all developers faster. And what it means to everybody that, that chooses to, to use UEFN is that this is us ensuring that you're going to be able to build experiences at the level and depth and quality of Battle Royale going forward right inside Fortnite.